Hi folks, Martin here again. This might be a bit handy for you. Those of you who are using vinyls, clothing vinyls, and have a craft cutter, may be interested in adding some shapes to your worded vinyl t-shirt designs. And you can easily do this by using silhouettes that you can pull from either the internet or your own pictures. And I'm using Photoshop CS3 for doing this, but um, you can obviously use earlier versions as well as later versions for doing this. So here's a little, just a, a quick tutorial just to show you how you can take a picture and an image which you want to create a silhouette of to just add some more design out of vinyl to your worded documents. It might be a breast logo you want to create, maybe of a ballet dancer or maybe of um, something that you know you're, you're putting some words around or maybe even just putting a, a, a graphic so you basically look for the image online and then you basically change it using the procedure I'm going to show you now now again this is the sort of image where you could have with a background in so there's some simple tools what you can use to select what we need we basically just want the outline of me in uh, this this project so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and that is that one there and if you hold the mouse down you don't see it there because this has got a couple of tools in it it's the one there which says click quick selection so just grab all of that tool hover over part of the image which you want to select and just hold the, the left mouse button down and move it around and you'll see it will start to select stuff now it may not be selecting what we want at the moment we're not too worried about that just keep moving it around to the edges if you can pick up all the bits that you do want in there keep moving it around and it will stretch and go over all the images that you want now as you can probably see there around this area here around my head it's actually got other parts of image which I don't actually want so all you would do there is hold down the alt key now can you see in the circle there there's a little cross. As soon as I hold down the Alt key, it turns to a negative. And then holding the left mouse button down again while I'm still holding that Alt key down, go over the bits that you don't want, and it will slowly mold them away to the, the shape. Again, I'm holding the left mouse button down now, and it will just take it into where my head was there. And if you go a bit too far, like I have done there, just take off your finger off the Alt key and it turns back to a positive. And just literally, just gently go back out to space there. Now, I think you can safely say that now I've got basically all the outline of what I want now. And I'm going to go to the select tool and inverse. Now, watch the marching ants at the moment. They're just around my body. And when I click inverse, they go around the whole page. So basically, all this bit has been selected. And then I just hit my delete key on the keyboard and there you go I've removed all that complicated background easily now again all I need to do now is to color this image in black so I've got to go to select again just go inverse again and that puts just the image of me with the marching ants around I'm then gonna turn the color to black and I'm then gonna grab a paintbrush with quite a big paint tool on it like that sort of thing and then I'm just literally going to go over the whole lot of my image as you can see there and then just turn off the marching ants and there you go I have a silhouette of me so that's one option with one photo let's shut that up I don't want to save that let's just try another one for you just to show you that uh, you can do it with different types of photos. You should never want to take one part of an image out of a uh, an image like this, for example. So we want to keep hold of, which is baby Jimmy. So if I just go to that magic quick selection tool there, and I'm just going to draw an outline of the bit what we want to keep, which is little Jimmy around there and around there. And around his leg there okay so it, so there's a little bit there which I don't don't want so hold the alt key down 
turn it to a negative and just bring it back in and there you go there so because I want to get rid of the background now I'm going to go to the select and inverse and then basically that puts the marching ads around the page and just hit the delete key and all we're left with is little Jimmy go to select and inverse again now I'm going to grab my pen tool, my paintbrush tool. I'm on black anyway, and there you go. That would silhouette that image there. Now obviously that's not really an image that we want to silhouette because there's no real silhouette there. I'm just showing you how can, you can take stuff out of an image and create a simple silhouette. I'll do it one more time for you with a totally different picture. Baby George with his sister. Now again, if the lines aren't really too defined around the edges, they are here, what you can do is go to Image, Adjustments, and where it says Brightness and Contrast, and push the contrast right up, and then just twinkle around with the brightness, so that we just define our edges a lot better. And then, OK, so again, that's really sharpened up these edges now, so it may pick up a lot better. So let's just go to our Quick Selection tool, Make that brush size bigger. Bigger than that still. There we go, that'll do. So then we're gonna go around George. Around there, all the way around there. Pick it all up. Yeah, pick it all up. There we go, around little baby Emily. Around the outside there. All the way around. Uh, you can see, I think we've got it all. Yeah, there we go. So that's got it. Now in this one, again, if we wanted to take away the background, we go to select and inverse, and then we just press delete. That gets rid of all the background, definitely. But we had, it was a white background anyway, so it didn't really matter. So then we want to go back to select and inverse again. We now want to get our color to black, as we know. So we've chosen black. And then we're just gonna literally just zoom over the top. As you can see there. And then just hit our thing to get rid of our marching ants. And there we've created another silhouette. Now you can do this with many different things. Well, there you go. I hope that's been of some use to you. It's not the perfect way. There's many different ways to do this. That's just a quick way to show you how you can then import that image once you've saved it into your Silhouette Cameo software and cut out uh, uh, an, any image you want using the, the tips and tricks I've just shown you there. Well, there you go. That's just a little quick one for you. Now, ideally, you want to change them images because they'll be they're, they'll be probably being saved as JPEGs. And what you probably want to do is to change them to a vector-based um, program. Now, in the, in the version of Photoshop I got, you can't actually do that. You can't change it into a vector shape image. And a vector shape image means that you can basically ex expand it or uh, increase its size without losing any qu edge quality, for example. And you can't really do that with a JPEG. So. If you've got an earlier version of Photoshop, obviously you are not going to be able to do that. There are ways to do that. And just check YouTube for some tut tutorials on how to uh, change a JPEG into a vector image. Or I think later versions of Photoshop, you can actually do that in the actual program itself. I haven't got that, so I don't know. So I can't really comment on that. But um, that's just a little tutorial to get you going on how to create a silhouette image or a style of image where you can actually cut out a vinyl as well. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bye for now.